And I got into, you know, and I still get into arguments with other people on YouTube uh, when I leave a comment about somebody. Somebody said, it's, what's the big deal with Huckabee making that joke about, about Barack Obama, you know, seeing the gun and he ducked, you know. Huckabee was speaking to the NRA and he made a joke. There was a noise off stage uh, that Obama saw a gun and it was him ducking. You know, look, everybody knows that when we trot out a black president that some crazy, redneck, racist, cracker, you know, idiot, who doesn't even know that if he kills Obama, he's going to push him into sainthood of some sort. I mean, look what happened with Martin Luther King. If Martin Luther King was alive, do you still think he would have the same influence that he has as being dead? You know, I say, you know, if Obama just gets winged, that'll be awesome. You know, he'll survive and it'll be like, go rock on Obama, you know? I don't want him to get shot at. No, no, no. But uh, joking, I would just say, you know, a scenario would be is that somebody, uh, you know, shoots and misses or something. It would just only add to the people embracing him. Anybody that this is the idea of assassination is just stupid. Getting back to oil, there's a really radical part of me that would just love, not with this administration, they're assholes. They want the price of oil to go up because Bush and his buddies are going to make money. I said it before, I'll say it again. That's why Cheney had that secret meeting. You know, and they, there's no transcripts. It was secret because he's getting together with those boys and they're parlaying how they're going to invade Iraq, how they're going to like grab up all the world's oil. Then Alaska's next. Yeah, they want to drill in Alaska, of course. But to make it viable to go to these really far out places that are under ice, that are in the North Pole, that's in the, in the deep, deep sea, the price of oil has to go up to make it profitable. And they want it to go up. And once, and shock treatment says, like, let's drill in Alaska. Oh, yeah, they will. Yeah, when the price of oil is like $500 a barrel or, or sooner, you know? I don't even want to see it go that high. I'm hoping that somebody will get smart. Something will happen. The market will collapse. The price will drop, at least on the barrel. You know what will happen, though, is that the price of the pump will not drop because they're making profit. I could go on and on. Those, those oil people are making money hand over fist. They get subsidized by the government. Bush gave them all the breaks. Connecting one, two and two, I had people disagreeing with me on my, on my uh, oil video, saying, no, you're wrong. You know, it's all this other stuff and stuff. Look, I saw it with my own eyes, and you saw it too. Bush holding hands with the Saudi prince on more than one occasion. A picture's worth a thousand words. Wake up. Figure it out yourself. The radical part of me is sick of all this privatization. They said this is the secret to making everything cheaper, to make everything better. Privatize everything. You know, sell off the, uh, the, the water plant. You know, give it to Sparklets. We'll buy our water from Sparklets. Uh, you know, um, privatizing all the, uh, the, 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 the electric power plants. Um, pri oil is privatized. There's a part of me with not this administration, but with the next administration, is just go in and seize those refineries at gunpoint and say, this belongs to the people. That energy and the truth is not something to be bought and sold. I know, sounds like radical socialism, but we went to this trend of deregulation and privatizing, and it's, it, at some point it made things cheaper, but it made things unsafe, and left things to the market where we have these radical ups and downs. And FDR was right. FDR was correct in taking control away from big business and putting it in the hands of the people. That's what I'm going to say. Reagan was all for this like supply side economics, lowering taxes for the rich, saying that it was going to make things better. Bush Sr. Bush was it George H. Bush, the dad, called it voodoo economics. And he was right. He was right when he said that. But of course it became Reagan's idea of supply side economics became the Republican Party's ideology and that's what brought us where we are now. It's time for a change. I don't know how to make it any clearer. I don't know how to put it any other way, but it's about time the people took things back. And with the new administration, it gives one hope. And that's what I said to that lady as 
I, as, we, as we parted ways, the woman that I, I met on my walk. And I said, hopefully things will get better soon. And, you know, they might get a little bit worse, but something around the corner, there is going to be change. And I'm, touch wood, knock wood as the Americans say, that it'll be a change for the better. All right, this is Citizen Kong. Have a great week. Should I go out with some music? Should we do, should we, again, huh, huh, should we? The Citizen Con, have a great week. Cheers.